You may have heard of the Kardashian curse, a belief that any man who gets romantically involved with a member of the Kardashian-Jenner family will face a string of misfortunes, including career troubles, mental health issues, and sudden health problems. Some people think it's a real phenomenon, while others dismiss it as a conspiracy theory. Unfortunately, those who fall victim to the curse never seem to fully recover from their bad luck. Today, we'll delve into this topic and explore its origins. According to popular belief, the curse is said to originate from the family's Armenian ancestors. The story goes that a woman named Kekel Kardashian struck a deal with witches to secure fame, beauty, and fortune for her future generations. But at the expense of their male partner's happiness and well-being. What if the Kardashian curse is not actually linked to the Kardashian family, but rather originated from Kris Jenner's ancestors? Maybe every woman in that bloodline is destined to enjoy a life of prosperity and happiness, but at the cost of their partner's bad luck. Before we move forward, I want to clarify that my intention is not to spread negativity or cause harm to anyone in any way. It's important to note that everything discussed in this video is alleged. Let's take a closer look at Kris Jenner's family history and see if there are any patterns or connections. Kris Jenner married Robert Kardashian, an attorney, in 1978. Together, they had four children. Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob. However, their marriage ended in 1991 due to Chris's infidelity. Robert gained national attention as a defense attorney in the highly publicized O.J. Simpson murder trial, which took place in the mid-90s. He was part of the legal dream team that successfully defended Simpson against the charges of murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. Despite his successful legal career, Robert's life was cut tragically short. In July 2003, he was diagnosed with cancer. Despite receiving treatment, he passed away just two months later. In September 2003, at the age of 59. There have been rumors circulating for years about a possible affair between O.J. Simpson and Kris Jenner, and some fans have even speculated that Khloe Kardashian's real father is O.J. According to O.J.'s former manager, there may be more to the story, as O.J. allegedly bragged about sleeping with Kris while they were both married to their respective partners, Nicole Brown and Robert Kardashian. The truth behind these rumors remains a mystery. After his arrest for the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, in 1994, O.J. Simpson's life took a dramatic turn for the worse. The highly publicized trial, famously known as the Trial of the Century, ended in Simpson's acquittal. His public image was irreparably damaged after the trial, and he was ordered to pay $33.5 million in damages to the victims' families. In 2007, he was arrested for armed robbery and kidnapping, found guilty, and sentenced to 33 years in prison. However, in 2017, Simpson was granted parole after serving nine years in prison. In April 1991, Kris Jenner married Bruce Jenner, just a month after her divorce from Robert Kardashian. However, in 2015, Bruce publicly announced that he was a transgender woman and changed her name to Caitlyn. In February 2015, Caitlyn Jenner was involved in a fatal car accident on the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, California. Her car collided with a Lexus driven by 69-year-old Kim Howe, causing it to veer into oncoming traffic and collide head-on with a Hummer. Howe was killed instantly in the crash, and several other people were injured. After an investigation, it was determined that Caitlin was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol 
at the time of the accident. A paparazzi photo of the incident also showed her holding a cigarette while driving. Despite this, Caitlin was not charged with any crime, but she faced multiple lawsuits from the victim's family and other drivers involved in the accident. Mary Jo Shannon, Kris Jenner's mother, was previously married to Robert True Bob Houghton, Kris Jenner's father. However, due to Bob's heavy drinking, their relationship ended when Kris was just six years old. In 1975, Bob became engaged to his new girlfriend. One night, after consuming a significant amount of alcohol, Bob and his fiancée made a decision to drive to the next town to get married the next morning. Tragically, their car crashed, resulting in Bob's instant death, while his fiancé survived. In 1968, Mary Jo married a successful businessman named Harry Shannon. They had been married for over 40 years until his death in a car crash in 2003. As I delved into Mary Jo's family history, I found that her father tragically passed away at the age of 35 during World War II, and her grandfather battled an illness and passed away in his early 40s. Although this information is accessible through public records, I do not think it is appropriate to disclose their actual names. So let's examine the romantic relationships of the Carr Jenner sisters and see if there's a pattern. Scott Disick was once a successful businessman. However, things took a turn for the worse after he started dating Courtney. He had to face the loss of both of his parents within a few months of each other. His mother, Bonnie, passed away in June 2013, and his father, Jeffrey, followed in January the next year. During his time on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Scott struggled with alcohol and drug addiction. The show documented much of his journey with these issues, making it public knowledge. Scott has been vocal about his belief in the Kardashian curse. In a 2016 episode of the show, he even sought advice from a psychic who confirmed his fears during a tarot reading. According to her, negative energy was following him everywhere he went, and he was facing many obstacles in life as a result. She suggested that he was indeed cursed. Travis Barker got married to Courtney in May 2022, but since then it seems like he has been hit with one misfortune after another. He was rushed to the hospital in June for pancreatitis, which causes severe abdominal pain, and just two months later he tested positive for COVID-19. Unfortunately, his health troubles didn't stop there. In November, shortly after celebrating his 47th birthday, Barker broke his toe. He had to make a trip to the hospital where he was given a brace for his foot. Earlier this year, he had a string of finger injuries while preparing for an upcoming tour with his band. He even shared a video of a medical worker attempting to put his finger back into place on Instagram. Khloe Kardashian and the former NBA player Rashad McCants began dating at the end of 2008 and announced their split in January 2009. He had a promising career in the NBA. However, he fell short of expectations and left the league in 2009, eventually playing for international teams for a few years. McCants has publicly stated that his relationship with Khloe Kardashian was to blame for his career decline. He believes that if the situation had not occurred, he would have been a successful player worth 60 to 70 million dollars. Khloe and Derek Ward dated briefly in 2009. Derek Ward was a Super Bowl champion in 2008. Then, after dating Chloe for only four months, he was out of the NFL within three years. In 2009, Lamar Odom met Chloe Kardashian, and they quickly got married after dating for a month. Lamar became a regular on Keeping Up with the Kardashians and had his own spin-off show with Chloe called Chloe and Lamar. However, things were not as they seemed, and Lamar was struggling with personal issues. In 2011, his cousin Curtis Smith passed away, and a week later, he was involved in a car accident 
where his driver hit and killed a 15-year-old boy. Rumors of drug use and infidelity began to circulate in 2012. In 2015, Lamar's struggles with addiction took a turn for the worse, and he was found unconscious at a Las Vegas brothel. According to reports, he suffered from 12 strokes and 6 heart attacks. After his health improved, Chloe proceeded to sign the divorce papers. James Harden, who was 26 at the time, dated Khloe Kardashian after they met in June 2015. Their relationship ended in February 2016. James has admitted that he did not enjoy being in the spotlight, which is constantly on Khloe. He shared in a February 2017 interview that it was the worst year of his life. Tristan Thompson's infidelity has caused a lot of controversy and backlash on a global scale. He was caught kissing other women while Chloe was about to give birth, and later fathered a child with another woman, while the couple was trying to reconcile. As a result, his reputation has suffered significantly, and it has not only impacted his personal life, but his professional career as well. In 2016, Kendall Jenner dated Chandler Parsons, who was having the best season of his career at the time. He earned a $46 million contract offer based on his early success, but unfortunately, he never lived up to expectations due to several knee problems and surgeries. In 2020, Parsons suffered a traumatic brain injury when a drunk driver hit his car, causing a concussion and other injuries that ultimately marked the end of his NBA career. Kendall dated Blake Griffin from August 2017 to February 2018. On November 28, Griffin suffered a knee injury that prevented him from playing for two months. Fans were shocked when he was traded to Detroit after several years in LA. Since then, Griffin has suffered from numerous injuries and had two knee surgeries. In May 2018, Kendall and Ben Simmons began dating, but their relationship was on and off until early 2020. Some people believe that Simmons is a victim of the Kardashian curse, and it's not hard to see why. Since their official split, Simmons has had to undergo major back surgery, and his performance on the court has suffered. Devin Booker is a basketball player who dated Kendall Jenner from 2020 to 2022. He had a knee injury before a big game in 2021 and another injury to his leg in 2022. His team, the Suns, didn't perform well in the playoffs, and some people think that this could be because of the curse. Tyga and Kylie Jenner had an on-again, off-again relationship from 2014 to 2017. While he achieved great success with hit tracks both before and during their time together, his career suffered after their split, with most of his subsequent singles being considered flops. Since his relationship with Kylie, the rapper has been involved in many controversies. In August 2016, Tyga reached a $480,000 settlement with a former landlord over unpaid rent, and he was sued by a jeweler for allegedly not paying $200,000 for merchandise purchased in 2013. In 2020, Tyga was caught up in another legal battle over a rental property he was accused of damaging, though he claimed his innocence. Travis Scott once famously declared that he wasn't afraid of the Kardashian curse. For a while, it seemed like he was right. His career was soaring, and he was reaching new heights of success. But all that changed on a fateful night in 2021, when the Astro World concert turned into a nightmare. A deadly crowd surge occurred, leading to the death of 10 people including a nine-year-old boy, and injuring many others. The cause of death was ruled to be accidental compressive asphyxiation, with 25 people hospitalized and over 300 treated for their injuries. A $2.5 billion lawsuit was filed on behalf of the victims, naming Travis Scott, Drake, Apple Music, and NRG Stadium as defendants. Reports indicate that the police had expressed concerns about security and crowd control prior to the event. Some concertgoers attempted to stop the show, but Travis Scott continued to perform. In one disturbing moment caught on video, 
he can be seen doing a robot dance as people were being resuscitated. Travis Scott denies any responsibility for the tragedy, but the damage to his career is undeniable. Kim Kardashian married her first husband, Damon Thomas, in 2000 at the age of 19. After three years of marriage, Kim filed for divorce from Damon, citing domestic violence as the reason. She also suggested that Damon had tricked her into marrying him while she was under the influence of drugs. Damon denied these allegations, claiming that Kim had made them up to get a better divorce settlement. Before marrying Kim, Damon was a successful music producer who had worked with big names such as Lionel Richie and Chris Brown. However, the Kardashian curse seemed to have caught up with him after their divorce in 2003. Damon filed for bankruptcy years later, and court documents revealed that he was more than $3.5 million in debt, most of which was due to unpaid taxes. In 2003, Kim started dating musician Ray J. Later, it was revealed that she had stolen a significant amount of money from his mother. The initial rumored amount was around $120,000, and there were allegations that the Kardashians had used the stolen money to stock their store. While the Kardashians denied this, they eventually settled the matter out of court. Recently, Ray J went on Instagram Live and claimed that the actual amount stolen was between $700,000 and $850,000. Additionally, Ray J revealed that the tape was planned between them, Chris, and Kim, and showed documents to back up his story. The tape has continued to haunt Ray J, and he received negative attention when it was mentioned on the Kardashians' new show on Hulu. Ray J even posted concerning messages on Instagram that suggested he was struggling to cope with everything. Kim Kardashian's short-lived marriage to Chris Humphreys lasted only 72 days. Humphreys' portrayal on the Kardashians' show was not well received by fans, and things got worse after the divorce. Humphreys wrote an article about the years of harassment he received on the street due to his portrayal on the show, and even received boos during a basketball game. His career took a hit after the split, and he eventually announced his retirement in 2019. Reggie Bush's NFL career had a promising start when he began dating Kim Kardashian in 2007. However, their on and off relationship ended for good in 2010. That same year, Bush faced heavy NCAA sanctions for allegedly receiving inappropriate benefits from a marketing agency during his college years, and he was forced to vacate his trophy. His career was also plagued by injuries that affected his performance, and he struggled to regain his former success. Kanye West and Kim tied the knot in 2014, and for the next six years, many believed that he was the one to break the curse. During that time, things seemed to be going well for him. He had a beautiful family with four children, and he had become a billionaire. However, things started to unravel quickly when his mental health began to deteriorate. In 2020, he experienced a public episode during a presidential rally, and in a subsequent interview, he revealed that he had been placed on a 5150 hold. Despite all that, Kanye continued to make controversial statements, including at the Balenciaga show in Paris which offended both the Black and Jewish communities. Despite many pleas for him to apologize, Kanye refused, and as a result, he was dropped by several companies, including Balenciaga, CAA, and Adidas, causing a significant drop in his net worth. It seems that the curse has hit him harder than any of Kim's other exes. Pete Davidson had a brief relationship with Kim Kardashian that lasted about nine months, starting in October 2021 and ending in August 2022. According to insiders, he always worried about being affected by the infamous Kardashian curse. Surprisingly, during this time, he left his job at SNL. Reports suggest that he sought help to deal with the harassment he endured from Kanye West after his split from Kim. It has been reported that Pete Davidson may face criminal charges for crashing his Mercedes into a Beverly Hills home in March. Interestingly, just hours before news of the potential charges broke, 
Davidson was caught on camera shoving a fan who attempted to take a selfie with him after a Knicks game at Madison Square Garden. Another individual who has seemingly fallen victim to the Kardashian curse is a member of the Kardashian family itself. Rob, the only son of Kris Jenner, has publicly struggled with depression and weight gain. However, he appeared to be on an upward trajectory when he became engaged to Black China. Unfortunately, after their split, he spiraled back into a state of depression. There were even reports in December 2022 that he had overdosed, but the Kardashian-Jenners have not confirmed these reports.